is a projectile motion type problem. So you've got this equation, h equals negative 4.9t squared plus 16t plus 2.2. .2. And that mod models the height of a stone thrown into the air. Um, t is seconds that the, the stone is in the air. And then h is meters. So h stands for the height of the stone in meters. So the first question is, how long is the stone in the air? Um, and we can first look at the graph to kind of get an estimate of how long the stone's in the air. If we look here at the x-intercepts, or the zeros, or the roots, um, we'll see that this is, the, this is the flight of the stone. So first, you know, it travels up, travels down, hits the ground right here at almost four seconds. So when we get our answer, we're going to expect it to be about four seconds. But we want to know for sure. So I'm going to plug in zero for the height. Because obviously at height zero, zero meters off the ground, that's when it has hit the ground. So I plug in a zero for h, and then I'm going to solve it for t, because t is time in seconds. So once I've solved this for t, that'll give me how long the stone was in the air. So looking at this equation and thinking about learning target three, how to determine how to solve this, um, I mean, you can go ahead and try to factor it, um, but you're going to hate yourself for doing it. So I would just go ahead and use quadratic formula for this. Identify your a, b, and c. Plug them into the quadratic formula, and you should get, obviously you'll get two answers, but your, one of your answers will be back here at like negative point two seconds or something. Um, obviously we're only interested in the positive answer. So the positive answer gave us about 3.59 seconds, if you find that as a decimal. Um, so the so the stone is in the air about 3.59 seconds. And that kind of agrees with what we had estimated from the graph. That looks like it might be about 3.6. So the second question, uh, when was the stone 10 feet above the ground? So we're looking right here and right here. So we're going to have two times that it was 10 feet above the ground. If we kind of estimate using the graph, looks like maybe about point, uh, slightly less than one second and right about three seconds. So right about one second and three seconds are what we should expect to get for our answers. So when is it 10 feet off the ground? I'm going to plug in a 10 for h because I'm interested in a height of 10 meters. These two points are, are where the height is 10 meters. That's what I'm interested in finding. So I'm going to set 10 instead of h. 10 equals negative 4.9t squared plus 17t plus 2.2. .2. All I've done there is just copy it down. Um, I have to put it into general form, though. So I have to set this equal to 0, meaning I have to subtract a 10 from both sides. So this is my new equation. And then obviously my A and B are the same, but C has changed. So I plug those into the quadratic formula. And it gives me two answers. It gives me 0.55 seconds. OK, so I guess my estimate was a little off, but 0.55 or 0.544 seconds and x equals 2.93 seconds, so about 3 seconds. So to answer the question, when is the stone 15 feet off the ground? It's, it's, 15, it's or 10 feet off the ground. It's, it's 10 feet off the ground after about a half a second and about 3 seconds. The last question, what was the height when the stone was thrown? So what was the original height of the stone? Um, here at t equals 0 times 0, that represents where it's thrown. So just slightly above 2 meters. And if you remember from our discussion about um, 
LT 1 and 2 part 2 general form like this gives us the y-intercept. So there's no real calculation you even need to do. You can see from right here, c is the y-intercept, 2.2 is the y-intercept. So that's the original height when it's thrown. You can think of the nothing that nothing really matters to the left of this y-intercept because that's all just negative time. So about 2.2 feet. Oop, that should be meters. That's my bad. Change that to meters. So about 2.2 meters is how high the stone starts when it's when it's originally thrown.